Hi friends, welcome to my channel Excellent Ideas in Education. Today we are going to learn about reflection of light. What is meant by reflection of light? Bouncing back of ray of light after hitting a surface. First draw the line. This is the mirror line. Light rays falls on the mirror. It bounces back of the mirror. That is called reflection of light. Example is ball bouncing back on the wall. You see light hitting the mirror bouncing back of hitting the mirror surface. This is called reflection of light. That is simple concept. Next, what is meant by law of reflection of light? You have to draw the line. This is the mirror one. And the normal at the point of instance, normal at the point of this is the normal point. All lie at the same plane. This is incident ray. This is reflected. Incident ray and reflected ray. This is mirror. This is back side. First one finished. Second one, angle of incidence equal to angle of reflection. So this is the incident ray. This is reflected ray. So incident ray is angle of incident. Angle of incidence is I. Angle of reflection is R. So angle of I is equal to angle of R. This is 30 degree means this should be 30. This 40 means this should be 40. These two points is the law of reflection of light. Next, different types of mirror. What are the different types of mirror is there? Plane mirror, concave and convex. What is plane mirror? Plane mirror is, you have to draw the plane mirror. Light rays pauses, reflects back again. The light rays pauses, reflects back again. The same way, plane mirror. Concave mirror, first we see the spoon. Spoon inside is there, no? This one is cave. This is inside is cave, no? So that's why concave. This is polished one. This is painted one. This is polished one inside. This is concave. Convex means outside portion is the convex. So this is the painted one. This is the polished one. This is convex. Cave portion. So cave. Cave means cave. So concave. Now we will draw concave mirror. Inside is polished one. Outside this is silvered one. So I have to silver this one. This is C center of curvature. F. Yep. This is P. The parallel rays of light falls on the concave mirror. They converge at a point called focus, principal focus. So the arrow is comes this way, the arrow goes this. The same way, parallel rays of light falls on the concave mirror. They converge at a point called focus. This is called concave mirror. Concave mirror is called converging mirror. Convex is diverging mirror. So convex, we have to draw the convex. This portion is polished one. The inside one is silvered one. So this one you have to silver it. This portion. Draw the line. This is P. This is F. This is C. F is Focus C is center of curvature. Now, draw the parallel rays of light. This is front of the mirror. This is parallel to the principal axis. And diverge the light rays. Diverge the light rays. Parallel rays of light. Diverge the light rays. So, the arrow is comes this way. Goes this way. The same parallel rays of light touches with the convex mirror is reflex. Reflex means diverge the light rays. 
So the arrow goes this way, the arrow comes this way. They will appear to meet at the point behind the mirror. Now, ray diagram for a plane mirror. What is the ray diagram of a plane mirror? Image distance equal to object distance. Image height is equal to object height. So, you have to draw the object distance is same as image distance. So, draw the plane mirror. So, this distance is same as this distance. This is object distance is same as image distance. This is 4 cm means this should be 4 cm. This height and this height should be same. This is object height. So, A, B, A dash, B dash. Light rays pauses here. This goes. So, this one is the light rays goes this way. So, this one passes this way. The same way. Light rays comes and goes this way. So, this one we have to draw. The light rays comes this side, goes this way. So, the arrow is goes this way. So, it touches this. This is a simple concept of ray diagram for a plane mirror. What are the plane mirror properties? Already seen these two properties. Image distance equal to object distance. Image height is equal to object height. Plane mirror is always virtual and erect. The image formed as a far behind the mirror. The image is laterally inverted. Laterally inverted. With the same size, right? Next one. This is important one. Let's talk about concave mirror and convex mirror and its rules. The spherical mirror whose reflecting surface is curved inwards. Curved inwards means this is inward, inside, right? Otherwise, this is cave portion. That is faces towards the center of the sphere. You see? Towards the center of the sphere, right? This is the center of the sphere. It is called concave mirror. This is the polished face. This portion is silvered one. You see here, this is spherical. Spherical mirror. So, center is center of curvature. The center point. The sphere center point is center of curvature. Center of the reflecting surface of a spherical mirror. This portion is the reflecting surface. Of a spherical mirror is a point is called P. So, this point is P. This is pole. P means pole. How we will define F, principal focus in this case? Midpoint of center of curvature and pole is called focus. So, this point is principal focus. This value is equal to this value. This should be 2 cm means this should be 2 only. So, center of the curvature and pole midpoint is F. So, half of the center of curvature is principal focus. What is this line? This line is principal axis. Principal axis. Or radius of curvature. F is equal to radius of curvature divided by 2. Or Otherwise, or radius of curvature is equal to 2F. You see here in this case, this 2, this is 4, right? This 2, this is 4. So, radius of curvature is 4 cm. So, 4 means, this one you have to take 4 by 2 is 2 cm. You see here, this value comes to right. Center of curvature to focus is 2. This is spherical mirror. The concave mirror is convergent mirror. You see in this case, this inside portion, inside all is minus. You have to draw the line here. This is plus. 
this all side is minus we will see briefly in sign conversion okay now we will go with convex so convex is outer portion is the reflecting so this is polished one this is silvered one so we have to this portion is silvered one in this case what we see in here center of curvature reflecting surface is curved inwards that is face towards the center of sphere curved inwards the center of sphere you see here the center of sphere is here only no so you can take the center of sphere is this way the pole is the reflecting surface of a spherical mirror is a point is pole correct what is f principal focus midpoint of p and c that is principal focus here you see inside c and f comes concave mirror but you see the convex is here the inside is comes c and f understand line is principal axis the same this value is equal to this value if 3 cm means this is also 3 cm this is the concept convex mirror is divergent mirror you see here we already seen this side is plus right so this side is minus the same way this all side is minus this is plus convex f and c is there no here so f and c is positive only here f means focal length this is f is equal to r by 2 this is negative the radius of curvature is negative here here is radius of curvature is positive here object is u is negative always negative for concave why negative in this case you see all should be negative no this side this is positive in max so that same way this full is positive this full line is so this full value is negative so here all is positive and magnification is equal to minus v by u in this case negative means concave mirror here positive means magnification is positive means convex mirror this is the concept next ray lights rules of concave mirror we will see the four rules is there so this is case 1 we will take case 1 first ray passes parallel to the principal axis this is principal axis right passes through the principal axis will pass through the principal focus pass through the principal focus is this is the principal focus right pass through the principal focus after reflection right so this is arrow is here arrow is down comes this is curved mirror this is curved mirror so they are following the laws of reflection so you have to join the center of curvature to this line so i is equal to or angle of incident angle of reflection is same so this is 20 means this should be 20 case 2 opposite to the case 1 now a passes to the principal focus so the arrow comes this way right will become parallel to principal axis after reflecting the mirror so arrow comes this way this one you see ray passing to the principal focus of the concave mirror will become parallel to principal axis after reflection on the mirror in your exam they will ask directed towards its principal axis directed towards its principal axis is case 2 only have to draw in your exam in this case case 1 is parallel to its principal axis is case 1 you have to draw the same way this is curved mirror they are following the laws of reflection so you have to join the center of curvature to this point 
so i is equal to r so angle of incidence equal to angle of refraction the same 20 degree means this is also 20 now we will see case 3 case 3 is ray of light passing through the center of curvature after reflection returns back along the same path you see the arrow is comes return back along the same path why ray strikes the mirror perpendicular and reflects back on its itself this one in your exam what they will ask when incident rays incident rays directed towards center of curvature center of curvature this is the question they asked in your exam this is case 3 now we will see case 4 case 4 is ray of light incident at the pole is reflected back making the same angle with the principal axis so this is i this is r so angle of incidence equal to angle of reflection this is tiny plane at the pole so we have to take the law of reflection in this case this one in your exam what they will ask strikes at its pole making an angle theta from the principal axis already we know this is principal axis only three case only we will use in the image formation by a concave mirror so we will see in the next class next one ray light rules for convex mirror previously we seen concave mirror no ray light rules now we will see convex mirror you see in this this is p is here f is here C is comes the same way P, F, C. P, F, C. P, F, C. Already we seen before. You see this is the polished one. This surface is silvered one. The rays parallel to the principal axis will pass through the principal focus. So principal focus is here. Why dotted line? You see this is behind the mirror so that's why it comes dotted in this area here is reflection go see already we see no the convex mirror is divergent divergent means this lines goes outside so the arrow is this way it goes outside this way so this is touches with mirror so this is curved mirror right so they are following the laws of reflection. So you have to draw the daughter line. Join with the center of curvature. This is I. This is R. This is case 1. Case 2 is. It is directed towards its principal axis for convex mirror. In this case, the case 1 is reverse is case 2. The ray passes through the principal focus of the convex mirror principal focus so this is dotted line is behind the mirror it becomes parallel to its principal axis is parallel to its principal axis after reflecting on the mirror it joins with center of curvature this line this is i this is o angle of instance equal to angle of reflection so it's curved surface that's why the law of reflection comes in this arrow is goes with this way so arrow is comes this side is reflected towards its principal axis right so the arrow is comes this side case 3 is ray of light passing through the center of curvature right ray of light is passing through the this is daughter line comes ray of light passing through the center of curvature after reflection return back along the same path that's why the arrow comes this way it strikes the mirror perpendicular and reflects back how they will ask this question in this when instant rays directed towards center of curvature case 4 ray of light instant at the pole is reflecting back making same angle with principal axis so this is draw straight only the principal axis so this i is equal to r 
angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. So 20 means this is also comes 20. So the arrow comes this way. So the arrow goes this way. In this, how they will ask in your exam question? The ray of light incident on a convex mirror now strike at its pole making an angle theta from the principal axis. Which one is principal axis? This line is the principal axis. These three case only we will use for image formation by a convex mirror for different position of the object. This case won't use for the image formation of the convex mirror. Next class we will see the image formation by a concave and convex mirror. Thanks for watching this video.